Right, back again with uh, another little update. It's quite interesting. Um, on the right, you can see the super capacitor charging. Um, that's what's powering this circuit. It's an inverter circuit. Um, very basic, very simple. And the schematics in are in the uh, video that I've done before this one. So if you check that, you can get the schematics. But um, what I'm doing is. Uh, using my toroid to power this little inverter which is PMP uh, you know it's the same as the last um, video it's got a new PMP um, transistor on there uh, a 2SA966 PMP and uh, C3840 NPN that one there and they both work fine I was blowing up the two N two nine zero A's. Um, as soon as I added this supercapacitor, they started popping. Um, another thing, this uh, a toroid. When I added it, I mean, because I was touching the the terminals, and it, and it doesn't really give you a shock. It's in fact, it's really quite smooth. Um, but it, you know, about ninety volts. But I couldn't really feel anything. But with that thing on there it was really spiky you know it was really shocky so I found that quite interesting as well but yeah the supercapacitor in line kept on blowing the transistors and I don't know why and I don't know how because it wasn't just without it um, the solar panel was fine you know I was even running through a, um, a diode so I didn't get no back surge or nothing but yeah so I just thought I'd share that with you the the toroid has got 60 turns um, I think I mentioned it on the last video as well but now 60 turns on the AC out and 7 turns on the in like I say it was centre tapped but I, I was going to use it on another circuit but I didn't get round to it but there's the brightest this is another what happens when I start to um, tweak this thing I don't know if you can hear that, but the capacitor really drains when I'm doing that. When it's on full brightness, it really, really drains. I'll shut that off, and as you can see, the output voltage is has um, dropped. But if I turn it up. The uh, the output voltage starts going crazy, starts jumping all over the place. I can't get a reading. It's like the toroid becomes unstable or something. I really haven't got a clue, but uh, I'm needing an oscilloscope to start reading this stuff. And I'm gonna get one of them. But yeah, so there you go. The toroid works. I mean, now the voltage has gone down too low. It won't even light it. 700 millivolts not worth a lot but um yeah again the, the, the new transistor works fine it doesn't blow up I think it's because the other one was uh, um, only 500 milliamps and this one is one amp so uh, the MPN uh, transistor so that's uh, a bit of a bonus it's going to live a little bit longer but yeah I just thought I'd share that with you that won't come on now until the the capacitors up to at least 1.10 volts um, but uh, like I said the schematics are actually on the uh, other video uh, um, and that's what I was using a transformer I don't know how many turns there are but um, yeah basically the toroid works and it works perfectly I will do more turns on the output and uh, see and less turns on the input and see if I can blow up the next, the next level of transistor but I have got some new ones in mind that I'm going to get, so um, blowing things up is, is 
I'm going to be the only one that I can blow up on this next level, I'm afraid, so super care is essential. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, be safe.